Okie dokie! Oh, morning everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudocast, and let me preface this by saying that uh, I'm pretty much feeling like crap right now. So, just uh, all night, didn't get a nap in at all. So, and let me move this over real quick. Okay, and uh, before I get too into it, I'm gonna have me a can of V8 Energy, peach mango flavored. So. And the music. Um, I didn't, I didn't really feel like taking my time in finding just the right album. I just grabbed the first one that came up on YouTube, uh, one that I haven't heard before. This is gonna be Midnight Odyssey. Ruins of a Celestial Fire, and I guess it came out last year. Uh, space Ambient, New Age. I haven't heard this one before, so... So let's give this one a whirl. Okay. Uh, but to start with, uh, normally, I don't I do not do a pseudocast on Friday mornings, but I ended up having a call in last night because uh, yesterday morning towards the end of my shift, um, all of a sudden, my, um, my big right toe just started hurting, like, severely, like, it hurt, it hurt like hell to walk, like, just, like, just, um, every step was just, <laughs> so, yeah, that, I mean, that really sucked, so, so, um, I just went ahead and called in last night, um, I did see a doctor about it, but uh, it it is just there. Was, it was pretty much a big fiasco. Uh, basically, the doctor visit was a waste of time. She basically the doctor's advice was something that I probably would have done anyway if I had chosen not to visit one. So, yeah, it was a waste of effort. You know, but just stay off it. That's basically what the doctor said. Put on some ice and take some ibuprofen. And then probably the probably the the real kicker was the fact that uh the doctor that saw me wasn't my, wasn't my usual doctor. So, you know, my last doctor was a little more understanding than this one. Like uh my last doctor asked me, "Is there anything you can do at work that doesn't require you to be on your feet?" I'm like, "Nope. We're on our feet the entire time. We are it's basically an athletic job. You're, you're, you're walking, pulling, pushing, lifting, contorting. So she's like, okay, well, I think the, I think uh, it was on a, I don't think it was uh, one of my big, one of my big toes. Um, I basically crushed it with the wheel of my pallet jack. So yeah, I think that's, that's what the situation was. Um, but she just said, all right, well, I'll just go ahead and give you the rest. Just go ahead and take the rest of the week off so you can recover. But uh, this new doctor, she uh, she just said, okay, spend the rest of the week, uh, or do the, okay, for the rest of the week, you have to do your, you have to do your job seated. Like, that's not possible. Not with the kind of job I got. So, and then she just basically said, well, take it up with them. Like, like, fuck you, lady. You know, the whole, oh, not my problem. So, so basically, you know, so basically the whole visit was a waste of time. You know, so bad gamble. But, um, so again, I called in last night, but my, um, But yeah, my um, but basically, basically what I have is a uh, big toe tendonitis. Just uh, just kind of obvious, um, self-explanatory. The tendon in your big toe, it's just it's just swollen up. It's inflamed, so it's gonna hurt when I walk. But but like I said, I'm getting over it now. So I mean, it's, I still have to be a little careful when I walk, but it's not not as bad as it was yesterday. So, 
Oh, but yeah, that, um, but, uh, I remember back, uh, many years ago when I worked at a different Walmart, um, I, I actually did fracture my little toe. I tried walking on that thing for like, for like a week. No way. Oh God, it hurt like hell. So I basically limped at my job the entire time. So, and, um, after that, um, I looked it up on the internet, I think. I think the, the kind of injury I, ha I had at that time takes four to six weeks to recover. So I'm like, oh, yeah, well, I'll just go ahead and put a put in for a month of medical leave in. And then, um, so I, I did that, um, talked to the, doc talk to the doctor about it, and she basically said, well, the most I can, the most I can give you is two weeks. You know, it's hard, it's hard for me to justify giving you a month off on just a little toe. I mean, I've had a, you know, for, uh, in order for me to give somebody a month off, their uh, big toe would have to be crushed. Or, you know, or, you know, or something like that. And I just, you know, you know, and I'm pretty sure, uh, and I'm pretty sure, uh, uh, I was pretty much the laughing stock of that whole store too, you know, just what? He requested a month off because he hurt his little toe. Oh my god. Like really. You know that you know that kind of thing. But again, it it's just you know, I did try walking on it for like a week. It's it hurts like hell, you know, but but you know they're they're probably, you know, they're probably, you know, they're probably used to shit like, you know, some guy's arm got shredded in a combine or something, or some guy's leg got caught in the wood chipper. Oh yeah, he was off for a few days, but he was right back up walking again. You know, you know, some kind of stupid embellishment shit. You know, oh I fell off, a, oh I fell off a, I fell off a five-story, five-story building, man. I landed right on my feet. My knees kind of hurt a little bit, but I just got up and walked it off. You know, that kind of crap. You know, basically, they probably all thought I was a little bitch because of it. So. You know, but it's, it's, you know, it's one of those, you know, it's one of those things where I almost want to just, every time somebody says that kind of shit, I just want to, like, grab, you know, grab their foot, grab a ball, peen hammer, just, just slam their, you know, slam it down in their foot and, ah, oh, God, ah, oh, what you do that for? You know, because I think you really needed to walk a mile in my shoes, buddy. Or, or try to walk a mile. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, God. So, you know, it's just, I freaking hate it when people do that. It, but yeah, kind of, kind of ran over on that. I could probably, I could probably go all, I could probably go all day on something like that. But it just, it just, I, I kind of, sorry, I kind of need to move on. So, but otherwise, a uh, good chunk of my night was, uh, was actually spent playing Gems of War. Um, I discovered one thing about that game. Um, it was totally an accident. Is uh, you could change the animation speed. Um, or I, I guess uh, I guess in a way, the uh, game speed. So that just made life a hell of a lot easier for me. Cause um, I mean, one of the reasons why Gems of War was such a was was such a pain in the butt game for me to play, is you know when you when you pick your match. Then I gotta sit here and watch. I have to go through the whole animation thing, all the fanfare and all that stuff. You just, you know, it's all you know. I think that was also one of the things that uh really soured me on a lot of fighting games. It just, it, 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 you know, you. It, it, yes, I yes I get you know. I'm a beginner player, I'm a crappy player, I lose a lot. You know, I understand that, 
You know, I fully expect to get my ass handed to me in a high hat when it comes to a fighting game. But one of the things that makes this shit so unbearable is the the fan, you know, the the fanfare fluff in between rounds. As nitpicky as it might sound, you know, I just want to click, 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 click. You know, you know, the moment, you know, the moment I get dealt that final blow, I just want to click, 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 click. I just want to get out of the. I actually, I I think I've said this in some of my uh, my uh, pseudo casts from way back when, when I first started getting into fighting games. But sorry to repeat myself, but you know, it just the moment. I mean, the moment my fighters just. Player two wins. You know, and then you gotta sit here and watch through the whole win pose and you, oh yeah, oh yeah, my shit don't stink. Yeah, I'm the king, baby. Roar! Yay! 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 Me! You gotta sit here and I gotta sit here and watch this whole thing. You know, you know. And then finally, round two, fight. You know, it just. I just want to go from one round to another, you know. It's it's also one of the reasons why, um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to fighting games, one thing that I'm very big on is the training mode. But that training mode, you have to be. I have to be able to set the set the training dummy to CPU or to just play. You know, I don't. You know, but uh, I've seen game. I've seen games. Um, Fantasy Strike comes to mind, definitely. I think there's others too, but uh, where they don't have a CPU mode. You go on training mode and you can have either jump, crouch, or do a certain move. And that's it. You know, I wanna, that's it. I wanna, I wanna spar with my opponent. You know, I just, you know, just, you know, just fight. You know, I don't wanna go through the whole there's another word other than fanfare I'm looking for, but I can't find it, but that's pageantry, I guess would be another word, but but again, this was also one of the re but but going back to Gems of War, this is one of the reasons why I've been pretty I've been uh, spending a good chunk of a good chunk of time playing this game cuz you could set the you could set basically you could set the game speed to super fast because I don't want to see all the damn animation. You know, I mean, especially after you've seen it an umpty zillion times, you know. If the computer team is going to kick my ass and just wipe out my team just like that, I want him to get it over with and, you know, just do it immediately. ASAP. I don't want to see the pageantry bullshit. Now, that being said, if I'm streaming this game I might actually turn the speed down or something because um, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want the viewers getting lost. I don't want them getting confused as, hey, what's going on? Action attack happening so fast, I can't see it, you know. So for, for something like that, if I'm streaming it, I might turn it, I might go ahead and tone down the speed. But if I'm playing, if I'm playing the game offline, then yeah. That sucker's that speed's being cranked up to the max. So, but. okay, but otherwise, that's that's all I pretty much got. Um, ah, uh, behind the scenes. One thing I'm having a big problem with Um, if you could see these windows If you can see like the little black border around them My god is it freaking annoying but The reason you see these little um Like the little, little again the little black borders around these windows Is because um these are being These are being taken directly from my web browser they're taken straight from the internet but the problem is is uh one on the upside it um it it saves me um 
It saves file space on my computer, so I'm not having so many damn images. You know, so I'm not having so many damn images in my uh, image folder. So, because uh, uh, these, a lot of these images, they're just one shots. I'm probably only going to use them one time and then never again. So I, there really isn't much point in actually saving them to my computer. But on the downside, it's uh, what you're. I mean, I mean what you're seeing here. This is actually a result of me. Um, it's actually a result of me sitting here, um, constantly altering the dimensions. I basically try to trim the black, but. Like I said, it's super tedious trying to trying to trim it all down to where there's absolutely nothing. Whereas, if I was to save these images onto my computer, there's no there's no black whatsoever. But it's like I'm having to choose between six to one, half a dozen of the other. So it's very tedious. But it, like I said, it's very tedious trying to get the exact dimensions. Now it's just to where I I'll I'll cut them down. I'll trim them down a few times, but you know I like to get a cast going here, so I don't can't really be bothered having to like get like the super 100% exact dimensions on each and every single image because because once again these images that I just used I'm probably only going to use one time and then after that never again. So there's no point in saving all these to my hard drive and then and then retrieving them from there because again. They're going to be going bye-bye after I use them. So I, it might be something else I got to work on in the future. But I don't... I don't... I don't think there's like a clear-cut way of pulling that off. But like like I said... Um, if I got time... I'll... You know, I'll, I'll keep... I'll keep... Um, I'll keep workshopping it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for tuning in and listening to me below, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and in all likelihood, I shouldn't be doing another one of these tomorrow. Cause, um, I really do need to come in. I really do need to go into work tonight. So, but like I said, I'm, I'm, my, my big toes recovering. I'm just hoping that it's going to be uh, healed up to enough, enough to where I can uh, work at least work just one more night and then I'm off the next four nights. So, so yeah, but, but otherwise, um, so you probably, you'll probably be hearing from me next on a Sunday morning. So, but until then though, thanks again for dropping by everybody and see you all next time. Bye for now.